This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! So here we are. We're continuing with Chapter 3 of Higurashi When They Cry. So, last time, um, we met Creepy Coach. I don't like him. Uh, we played baseball and blackmailed kind of blackmailed the, like, super good pitcher to throw the game. Like, not really. We just kind of took advantage of a very weird, like, thing about him. And we're just like, hey, you know, it's not that bad. I'm the same way. And he's like, oh, man, a kindred spirit. Yeah, I'll throw the game. Uh, that's all I'm summarizing because I'm not actually going into the details of what that is because it was really weird. Also, uh, it seems like uh, Shion and Rena are going crazy again. It's so cool. Yeah. Anyhow, we're continuing. I think we are trapped in a space-time anomaly, or at the very least, it's oh, a, hi, it's a new dimension every single time we seem to be playing. Hey, it's Mom. Irrelevant. I did not sleep well last night at all. My mother could tell from a single glance. I had the worst dreams. Nightmares. Very ominous dreams, one after the other, again and again. I woke up after each one, but could never even remember a fraction of what they had been about. But it was like those dreams were predicting something unpleasant. And I woke up in a terrible mood. Hey now. Every day has been calm and fun before today, right? Those days should continue on, unchanging. Uh-huh. And yet... Anxiety was the only emotion growing within me. Why was that? Nightmares reflect your own anxiety. They show an uneasy mind, that which you wouldn't admit to normally. Yesterday. I remembered the ominous conversations about Satoshi I had with Shion, Mion, and Rena. Right. My mind felt like it was in a black fog, because we had talked about that. I know! Like, the coach seemed great, and then he starts talking for more than five seconds. You're just like, oh, you should be on a, a list somewhere. <laughs> oh, boy. If I if I'd lived every day without causing a fuss, my reward would be ever more peaceful days. I understood that. So why did I cause such discord? But now that I thought about it calmly, a simple verbal slip on my part couldn't possibly change the world. Yeah. As long as I'm sorry about doing it, and never talk about it again, there's nothing that anyone can blame me for, right? Besides, how would my fate possibly change, just because I talked about that? Nothing was going to change. Yeah. Nothing would change. Nothing would change. Nothing would change. <laughs> you better, you better stop that. <laughs> Keiichi, don't give slasher smiles to people. Hey, Proxima! Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm doing well. I just, you know, October's going by way too quickly. I finally cheered up enough to smile, and Mom slapped me right back down. Now I was irritated again. Woo! Yay, Majora's Mask. That's a good one. There wasn't much time left before I had to meet up with Rena. I frantically started to get ready to go to school. It's true. One of the perks of living in a small town, not as much traffic. I dashed out the front door. The morning air was far more refreshing than the water on my face. That's right, Keiichi Maibara. If you're sorry enough about it and reflect upon your mistakes, that's enough. Now let's pull yourself together and get to school. And return to fun, enjoyable days. Where everyone laughs, plays, and just has a good time. It'll be nice to see Satoko as an apology as well. Or, I'll be nice to Satoko as an apology, too. Yeah! Wasn't I supposed to be her Nini until Satoshi got back? Well, that was a little weird thing to promise. Uh, she just appeared when it was white. I don't know if that was a glitch or intentional, but it's a little creepy. Hey, Rana, did you take your meds today? <laughs> Rana, too, looked nothing like she had yesterday when she said that weird stuff. If I could only forget, then I could still act like nothing had happened. So I called out to her with all the energy I could muster. Oh! Let's go! Okay, yeah, I think she took her meds. I think we're good. Yun boy, who's saying that? There was a little time before the same old morning homeroom began. But Satoko and Rika-chan were unusually absent. Maybe they went to play somewhere. 
However, looking over and seeing none of their things, so it looked like they really hadn't come to school. They're playing hooky. Rena seemed to be enjoying herself thinking about what their excuse for being late would be. Mion said something nonsensical as well, imagining how funny the reason they were late must have been. I had only come to school to see their energetic faces, since I figured it would get rid of these feelings I have. But the load on my chest remained where it was. It wasn't very pleasant at all. Oh uh, yeah! It's best girl! Teacher Chia Pet, let's go. Our teacher had finally arrived. Then, finally, I heard the pitter-patter of footsteps running down the hall. Clatter. Rika was the first one to run through the open door. And then, Satoko. Didn't come. Rika, did Satoko fall down the well and we have to save her? It was unusual for Rika to be late, but equally unusual for Satoko, a ball of energy, to be absent at all. Someone should do a welfare check? Nope, she's fine. <laughs> Rika is! Well, maybe, judging by her frown, maybe not, but what about Satoko? <laughs> Everyone's eyes were wide at the series of strange events. The teacher walked over to Rika, and they started talking in hushed tones. <laughs> if that's the weirdest thing that happens that day, that's a pretty normal day. She's probably adding a 15th trap to the forest. Why now, when I wanted most to see Satoko's energetic face? The unease that had been building since last night tightened with my chest. Uh-huh. Especially if you eat some bad meat. <laughs> if you're eating meat that's expired, that's probably gonna cause you to get sick. As far as I can tell, uh, if what they're referencing wouldn't be enough to keep people away from school. Oh, but she just said it maybe it'll be late. Okay. That's fine. Mion laughed indecently. Normally I would laugh along with her, but right now I just didn't feel like it. Probably because it's not really funny. Keiji's just developing an actual sense of humor. Homeroom ended, and we talked to Rika in the short time we had before first period started. Yo, Rika-chan. Teacher didn't yell at her, she's just like, oh hey, why are you late? Don't be creepy. I was very aware of my gloom this morning, so I strove to keep my tone cheerful. I petted Rika's head the same way that she always did, but she didn't cheer up at all. It's probably because that's freaking weird to do. Me. I am aware that it was a menstrual cycle joke, DX. <laughs> I was just saying it wasn't funny. <laughs> For instance, she got a fever from playing around too much yesterday. If that had been her response, I would have accepted it in a flash. Aww. But the atmosphere around Rika felt somehow heavy. It was a little weird, and actually made my unease worse. Mion, acting just like a club president, pulled me back to my chair. Rika's gaze immediately fell back to her desk, and she hung her head gloomily. Rika had said something odd, that Satoko might be a little bit late. They were... living together, weren't they? Then she would have known for sure. She wouldn't have said might. I didn't understand why she was absent, and that made all the, me all the more anxious. Damn it, what's going on today? It's like, we started off on the wrong foot and it wasn't going to get any better. Rena noticed how I looked and whispered to me while the teacher wasn't looking. I thought of jokingly saying, Don't look at me! But I didn't even feel like doing that. <laughs> Rena 
that actually wasn't Rena who went crazy last night. It was uh, it was her clone, um, Rona. <laughs> yeah, Rona was the one who did that. I won't tease you. Rena said this, looking me straight in the eye. <laughs> Just like Rena, did you take your pills this morning? Huh? Rena's eyes widened for a moment, not understanding what I meant, but she remained silent and listened. そんな毎日が繰り返されることに何の不安もなかった。うん。そうだね。毎日楽しいよ。きっと今日も楽しくなる。絶対にそうなるって自信が持てるか。Cuz I found Colonel Sanders in the dump. I want you to help me get it. Not again. えっと。Rana feeling perplexed couldn't think of something to say. I didn't blame her. What I was trying to say seemed a little confusing, even to me. Well, we can replace the light bulb. Rena nodded gently. いいことばかりは続かないってずっと教えられてきたから。いや、ケイチ君が楽しい日々がいつまでも続かないかもしれないって思うのは決して悪いことじゃないと思うよ。例えば、うん、明日突然火山が大爆発して私たちが全員死んじゃうとする。There are no active or inactive volcanoes in the Hinamizawa region, are there, Rena? Yeah, there is. There are really. おいおい。物騒な話だな。例えば、その大災害を I'd feel like a winner. Dote. She's like, ah, I'm special. No, just kidding. I imagined myself being that sole survivor in the ruins of Hinamizawa. Rubble in the bodies of friends lying in heaps at my feet. It was such an abhorrent sight. Was it sadder that all my friends had died? Or was it sadder that I couldn't have died with them? I didn't know which, but I'd probably cry a lot. Understandably. I didn't want to consider such a horrible event to be my destiny, but...楽しい毎日がいつか終わるものならそうだったらたとえ明日そうなっても悔いがないように精一杯楽しく生きるのが正解じゃないのかなそうだなそれに気づくのはとても難しいこと多くの人たちは日々の幸せに飽食してるよ
It was such a hyperbolic conversation, but Rena just gave me a nonchalant nod of her head. Uh -oh. Backstory. Tomorrow's the mathematics exam. It won't be fun. It seemed like Rena perfectly understood all the anxiety I couldn't put into words. And on top of that, like a reliable teacher, she showed me what to do. Ooh. Hey, Keiichi Maibara, there's no need to cry now. Yube, Satoko no yume o mita ki ga suru nda. Donna yume datta ka wa omoi dasenai kedo. Asa kara zutto fuan de. Satoko chan no genki na kao o mire kara anshin suru tsumori datta. That's putting it mildly. Kana? She was right on the money. If everyone had been there with smiles on their faces this morning, then the murk in my heart would have definitely been blown to smithereens. Easier said than done. So that even if these fun days came to an end, I'd have no regrets. I couldn't tell if what Rena told me had been comforting or just made me more anxious. But it was enough to make me think that if I saw Satoko again, I'd be honest with her. Them cicadas. Lunchtime arrived, with everyone pushing their desks together like always. Satoko wasn't here. Despite that, we had bento boxes for five lined up on our desks. Who brought two bentos? <laughs> Rika had made a bento for Satoko too. Oh, okay. There we go. Satoko, you were coming at night, right? Look, sometimes. No, I'm not gonna finish that. Oh. <laughs> Rika, if little Timmy fell down the well, you have to tell us. I don't care if they dared you not to. Rika was clearly acting strangely. We were talking to her, but it felt like she was too far away to hear us. Hey, Rika! <laughs> I'd never seen Rika so downcast. So, the rest of us started feeling down, too. Hey, Rena. I understood what she said before pretty well. When we were together, we were supposed to have lots of fun, so we wouldn't have any regrets if the world ended tomorrow. And yet, while well, I just resolved myself to do it, now we can't all be together. What the hell? Because, because it was just so sudden, wasn't it? I mean, yesterday was fun, so who could believe it would all end today? No volcanoes had erupted, and no earthquakes or fires had happened diver! The cicadas were making the same noise as they did yesterday, and the sun remained bright in the sky. It was the same normal day as always. So then, why? As I pondered, Rena's chopsticks reached in front of my face and stole the fried chicken out of my bed. Though, Rena, I will fight you for that. I was saving her for later, Rena. <laughs> How dare you? She's the worst. Rena tossed the entire piece into her mouth and began munching on it. Her expression one of bliss. You better not be taking my. I will fight you. You're taking her food. She needs that. She's a growing girl. Rika, also behind the curve, smiled again and went for someone else's bento. As I sat there, dazed at how quickly everyone had changed, Rena sent a wink over to me. Come on, KG. Live life to the fullest. That way, if a volcano erupts tomorrow, it'll be okay, Star. There we go. <laughs> Everyone needs to eat, exactly. Welcome to the stream, Turtle Gamer. <laughs> I stuffed the meat into my mouth and constructed a clumsy smile. <laughs> I played along as if trying to fool myself. But as I did, I rapidly became less and less uh, acting. Satoko still wasn't here. But at some point, we'd regained our lively lunch time. Actually, hold on a second. This is like the simplest OST. Is this the banjo kazooie music? <laughs> it 
sounds similar. At some point, we regained our lively lunchtime. We had fun. We smiled. And we fooled around. Thanks, everyone. This was definitely the best thing to do. This way, when Satoko suddenly dropped by, we could welcome her back with our best smiles. The more I smiled, the more I felt the anxiety from this morning clearing away. Okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Hey, there they are. Yay! Yay! How, how fun is that? <laughs> Let's go. Everyone took a deep breath and brought their faces together, locking shoulders. And then... <laughs> when did this become Final Fantasy X? <laughs> Keiichi was laughing for a lot longer than everyone else. Everyone laughed uproariously from their stomachs, trying to laugh out all the bad stuff accumulating in them. By the time our bento boxes were empty, everyone was bright as rain, and everyone else outside the group thought we were freaking weird. Smile, you're on candid camera. 